What's up guys, this is Theo here coming to you live with another JavaScript coding tutorial. Today I wanted to show you how to use the openweathermap.org slash API. It's basically just the weather API. We're going to build a simple application where the user can um, enter in a city that they, uh, that they want to uh, see the weather for and we will just give them back um, a brief description of the weather there or maybe the temperature. I'm not going to do the conversion to Celsius but you can We'll look at what it takes and how you can access it. So I'm on this website right here. You can go ahead and navigate to that in your browser. We're just going to do current weather data. We're going to click on the API documentation. And this says by city name. Okay, that's what we want. Um, so you can sort of see, see here. Here's the API call. API.openweathermap.org slash data. The version number, weather. And then here's the query string. The query is, and then you just pass the city name. So for example, if I wanted Los Angeles, I would just change this to uh, Los Angeles for city name. The other thing that we need is um, uh, we're going to need, if we go into sign in, I'm already signed in, we need this API key. Here's mine. So we're going to append on to the end and um, API key equals and then this API key. So I'm just back out of here and look at how I wrote that. App ID equals. That's what we need. Okay. So uh, let's let's write it out. So we're going to say var API call equals. And we're going to go back here. I got the I got the API key. Let me just store my key right here for now. And let's get go to the API doc again. And let's grab this API call. That's what we want. And um, let's paste in that right there. API dot slash data. And then our query. Let's just not run that for a second. And our query will just be um, Los Angeles for now. We want to test that out. And app ID equals, this is where we put our key. So let me go back to uh, sign in. And let's look at our API key. Let's grab that. And let's paste that in there. So that's our, that's our API call right there. And that's obviously going to be a string. And uh, yeah, that's our API call. So we're going to, um, we have jQuery. So we're going to use jQuery's get JSON method. So it's just going to be get JSON, which under the hood just takes in the request that we're making HTTP get to and also a callback. So first parameter will be our API call. Second parameter will be weather callback. So we can execute this weather callback, weather callback function, and this will just take in our data, our weather data, and we'll just console.log out our weather data. And let's see what we get now if we run our JavaScript console undefined. Uh, let me see what is going wrong with this. Why is it undefined? Weather callback. What did I do wrong? Get JSON. Why is it saying undefined? Weather Los Angeles. Mm, let me think what I did wrong. Just to be honest. Function weather callback. Okay. There we go. Just had to put that in front of it. Um, so yeah, we can see we're getting back our weather data, and so it's just a JSON object. And the two things we want to pull out of it are um, is uh, the name, weather data dot name, Los Angeles, and we want to also pull out the. Uh, let's see. We can pull out. Uh, we'll pull out the weather data dot. Let's see what do we want. We want the country and why is it doing that? Weather data. The, oh, weather data dot sys dot country and what else do we want? We want the. We'll just do the description of it. We'll do just to see what it is. But you can see you can get everything. You can get the temperature. Weather data dot description. Why is that not working? Weather data. Data. Weather data. Oh, 
weather data dot weather dot description what is it weather data dot weather weather data dot weather so that has to be an object to main sys dot cord main weather data dot weather let's see why are we not getting it? Zero. Ah, oh, there we go. Weather data. Zero description. Okay. So we've got our description back as well. Now let's just store these in variables. So we'll just say var city name equals weather data dot name var country weather data dot sys dot country and var description will just be this. So we're just gonna extract out a few of the properties that we're getting back. And uh, so we can we can see that this this indeed is actually returning back what we want. Uh, but let's let's go into our HTML and just make a div called weather response. And this is where we will put our response. So we'll do uh, dot weather response dot append city name okay so we get we're getting our city name and let's get our country and our description um, so we'll just do the weather in plus city name city name in Los Angeles um, plus, plus, weather in Los Angeles, U.S. Um, plus is currently plus weather in Los Angeles, U.S. is currently smoke. Okay, so kind of dumb, but I'm just showing you how to get it to work. U.S. is. Let me take out that. Okay. So that works. Let's try. Um, let's try with another city. Let's try. Uh, like, let's try Barcelona. See if that works. Okay, the weather in Barcelona, Spain, is currently clear sky. Okay, cool. So let's actually set up this to where we can um, we can write in an input type of text, and we can give it um, an ID of city name, and then we can have a button. We can do on click and we can fire off an event listener or a, a method. And this will just be called get weather. And uh, so, yeah, that's called get weather. And let's wrap our JSON call in here so we have function get weather. Let's just make sure it's working. Console.log uh, hit function. And let me see um, what we need to do. Okay, we need to inside of this button, enter a city to get weather. So let's see. Why is that not? Button, enter a city to get weather. Cool. So let me make sure this is actually hitting. Hit function. Okay, cool. So let's put back in our API call right there. Better. Come on, move over. You can do it. Come on. Okay, it doesn't want to move, I guess. Um, let's format this. Come on. <laughs> All right, whatever. So let's just log out our, um, well, first of all, we're going to store our API call in here. And uh, this is going to be API call. We're going to, First, we're going to get our city name, which is, so we're just going to use jQuery again. We're going to do a city name dot val. And uh, yeah, so then we're just going to change this to query equals, this is B plus. Uh, city name 
plus FID. Let's make sure this actually works now. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in Los Angeles here. The weather in Los Angeles is currently smoke. Okay, awesome. Let's try um let's try Mexico City. I just want to test out a few more. Um weather in Mexico City is currently oh, that's what we want to do. We want to um every time you clear it out, we just want to clear out the whole area there. So we just want to do um we want to do um, dot dot weather response dot html every time it hits the function right so let's try um, let's try and enter Los Angeles again okay cool let's try Mexico City let's see what it does okay cool so it clears it out every time so uh, yeah guys just wanted to show you how to use the weather API um, I did a video on how to use github API thought this would also be a sort of interesting one to uh, work with the data and uh, sort of see how you can start to uh, piece together your app. Yeah, I admit it's not the best uh, layout, but I was just going for functionality. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Always appreciate the feedback. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I will catch you in the next video, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.